completely full. What are we gonna do? Oh, I asked if there was anywhere else around, but if we need power, I think we've got to go back to Cortina. Oh my God, what a nightmare. <laughs> the ups and downs of not hey, having a plan. <laughs> Cortina, nestled in the valleys of the Dolomites, it is a small town with a thousand year history and 360 degree panoramic mountain views. Well, Cortina is a very pretty town. Known mainly for hosting the 1956 Winter Olympics, it now offers some of the most amazing ski slopes and some of the most beautiful mountain huts known as refugios. Due to the lack of planning, we hadn't originally planned on staying here, but luckily it worked out in our favor. In our last vlog, we showed you our expectations versus realities of Lago de Braz. We've just left there and have a couple stops along the way before we make it to Cortina. Bye bye, Lago de Braz. Bye bye, Lago de Braz and many, many people. So it's about a 20 minute drive to our next destination of the day, which is Lake Dobiaca. And it's a pretty straightforward drive. We're already almost there, seven minutes to go. The sun is shining. It's meant to be a beautiful day. So we're really looking forward to go and take a walk around there and see what it has to offer. Yo! Lake Dobiaco, it was not meant to be this time. No. It was rammed. And to be honest, even if we had found the last parking spot, I just dread to think how busy it actually would have been down on the lake anyway. So I have got a sweat on. <laughs> Squeezing <laughs> through those cars was a nightmare. <laughs> My goodness. That is an absolute nightmare. I think we have to just say goodbye to this place because- I think this is too busy. It is a bit ridiculous. So instead, we're going to head towards Cortina, uh, which isn't too far. It's the main town of this part of the Dolomites. And we're going to figure out a new plan from there. Indeed. Right, like. attempt at lake number two. Yeah. It seems a bit quieter here. So we figured out where we are, and oh, it is. You're making me pronounce it. Lago de Landro Dorinci. That'll do. <laughs> But yeah, it seems quite quiet, so... Way more quiet than the other place. So much quieter, a lot more parking space, so it makes me think that it might be a bit of a nicer experience. Yes. <laughs> there are so many pathways, I have no idea how we're going to make it back. Well, this is way nicer than Lake Dobiaco. So there are considerably less people here than there were at Lake Dobiaca. And I don't know why, because this is literally on the side of the main road. You've got all the cars parked, hugging this lake. And there's not many people. And we've got this view. It's crazy. So although Lake Dobiaco didn't quite work out as we no. were hoping, we saw this lake on the side of the road and I am so happy that we stopped here because it's turned out to be one of our favourite stops and it was so unexpected. It's so great. That's the best thing about van life is you can literally pull over on the side of the road anywhere you want to an extent. <laughs> We've taken a short five minute walk around the lake and you are greeted with this view. So we've made it to the town of Cortina. We've decided to park up in the free car park and we're gonna walk about 10, 11 minutes to a restaurant that we found, which has carbonara and amatraciana. We have not had pasta yet since being in Italy. We've had pizza, lots and lots of pizza, but no pasta. So excited. Well, Cortina is a very, Pretty town. So we just called the restaurant to see if they were open. I mean, the doors were closed and no one was inside. It looked very closed. Hmm. But we thought we'd call them to see what time they would open. And he said they're not open until six. So that's like two hours and 15 minutes. And 
we've got things to do and places to be so we're not sure if we're going to hang about maybe we're going to try and find somewhere else even though we were super super excited for amatriciana and carbonara there's got to be another restaurant that does good pasta here i mean it seems like most places open around about 6 p.m so we're kind of between lunch and dinner yeah it's our own fault <laughs> So we're not going to hold our breath, we're going to keep looking on Google and see what we find. My belly is rumbling hard. Let's do some more Googling, see if we can find So we've settled for this restaurant which is pretty much in the heart of the town. The reason being, it seems to be the only place that was really open at this time of day. Jay, thank, thank you. you. So we ordered one lasagna because it looked delicious we saw someone eating it and it looked so nice and we ordered a pepperoni now <laughs> we didn't realize that pepperoni in italian was italian for peppers it so must be because there's no we didn't get our pepperoni but that's okay this still looks really good it does look really good so let's tuck in if i keep eating pizzas at this rate i'm going to turn into a pizza you already are <laughs> You're gonna get your favourite vanilla. Oh. Are you gonna share it with me? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> wow, it's a big scoop. Yeah. Hopefully it's good. The first gelato of Italy. <laughs> Right, the verdict. Our first gelato in Italy. Oh, the bells are ringing. <laughs> oh. Is it really good? So like. Mm. Fluffy. Wait a minute. Want some? Yeah, give me some. Oh my god, so good. So creamy. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to Cortina D'Ampezzo. It was a short but sweet trip. We had a yummy pizza again. And <laughs> we had gelato. And it was good. It was good. So we're just driving away from Cortina and I spotted this view on the side of the road and it literally is on the side of the road. We got out, got some pictures, got some fun videos. We'll show you now. So gorgeous. Our next destination is the Miserina Lake. Now the reason we're going to be staying there tonight is because it's a lot closer to the hike that we want to start tomorrow, which is the Tre Cima di Lavaredo. That's not bad. That was okay, that wasn't was it? That was not a bad pronunciation. <laughs> So we thought it made sense to get as close as possible as we'll be up for an early start there. And it's just a short 20 minute drive. Another beautiful drive. It's honestly one of the most beautiful drives we've ever done. So Alex is currently checking with reception to see if there are any vacancies at this camping spot which we hope there is because we really need to charge our van all of our electronics are down to zero and this is our last hope otherwise we've got to drive 25 minutes back to cortina <laughs> it's completely full what are we gonna do oh, i asked if there was anywhere else around but if we need power i think we've got to go back to cortina oh my god what a nightmare we're gonna have to go back to Cortina. Let's find them. <laughs> now I'm really getting quite worried. Hello, buonasera. Buonasera, ciao. Um, do you speak English? Yes, of course. How can I help you? Thank you. Do you have any availability for um, camper vans? For tonight? Yes, please. Hey, we are fully booked. I'm really sorry. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Ciao. Okay, that's that one done. Oh, no. Buonasera. Uh, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Um, do you have any spaces for tonight for power, for a camper van? 
tonight we still have three places, yes. But three I places. Don't reach the camping too late. Oh, it's okay. We're maybe 20 minutes away. Okay. They've got free spaces, but they don't do reserve, so... Okay. And back we go, exactly the way we just came. The ups and downs of not having a plan. <laughs> I'm getting to gear now. So we're going 28 minutes back in the direction we just came. <laughs> There'll be a nice cold beer waiting for you when we get there. Multiple beers, please. <laughs> Multiple beers, I promise. Bye bye, campervans who were more organised than us. <laughs> On we go. But on the pro look at this drive back that we have at sunset really we shouldn't complain so we've got camping cortina or camping rochetta left or right left or right i think let's go right. right and then we can always change our mind if it's not vacant <laughs> let's have a look here so alex is patiently waiting in line as we speak to find out if there still are three spots remaining, of which we hope to have one of them. What's to go? Turn off the engine. Yeah. Um, and he's wanted to check to see if there's any space on his bike. So. Okay. Fingers crossed. Cool. He said it should be okay. So. Okay. <gasps> fingers crossed. Otherwise, we just go. <laughs> we go across the road. Across the road to Cortina. Yeah. Thank you. Give me one second. It looks like it's. Good news. Okay. What's to go? We've got some to choose from. They've got four left. We have to check out before 2 p.m. tomorrow. Well, that's fine. We're going to leave it super early. And yeah, the site was 33 euros for okay. the whole night, includes electricity, so it's okay. Well, we made it. At least we're in a spot. How cool is this? You can hire a caravan slash cabin it's amazing i've never seen anything like that before no same much slower keep going that'll do you deserve this what are you <laughs> cheers well done for driving love you Love you. So we stopped for the night back in Cortina. It's been one hell of an afternoon. <laughs> Being truthfully honest, Alex is now on the hunt for our drone battery cube that allows us to charge all of these at the same time. This is our charging station and this is our view. Not bad. Again. And. And. <laughs> so we just were driving away. So we were just driving. <laughs> Trey Chima de la Barredo. Something like that. <laughs> Shall I say it again? Because tomorrow we're going to be. Sorry. Oh, I've lost the thread of sense. <laughs> End it there.